Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Thank you, Lord. Amen. All right, we are here, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, everyone. Hello, 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 everyone. We got on, y'all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We got on. Hallelujah. We are here, everybody. We welcome. are here. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glory. Glory. We made it, y'all. We made it. Hello, welcome to day six. Hello, hello, Glory hello, to everyone. God. Um, we welcome, got welcome to day number six of our fasting and praying, praying and fasting and seeking the face of the Lord. And uh, we had some technical difficulties, but uh, I appreciate being able to get on. The Lord is faithful. Hallelujah. He's good. I thank God for having some technical support in the natural and in the spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for praying us through. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hello, 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 everybody. Greetings and welcome. Welcome, everyone. Hi, Sister Melanie, Sister Sherry. Sister Reed, God bless you to everyone that is joining us. Would you please take a moment to share? Yes, come in with a praise. Take a moment to share. I'm excited to be here on tonight. Hallelujah. Only God can be exalted. Only God can be exalted. Only God can be exalted. Only the Lord. We're only lifting up the name of Jesus on tonight. Only he gets the glory. Only he gets the glory. Thank you, Lord, for being so faithful, so gracious, so loving, so helping, so caring. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight I have with me my daughter Genesis. I have also with me the promises are back with us on tonight. We thank and praise the Lord for them, for rolling and riding with us all week this week. Um, to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Why don't you go ahead and put a praise on the, the screen for being with us tonight for the week that you have had. This is day number six. Well, the Lord has kept you and the Lord has provided for, for you. He, is encur he has encouraged your heart and encouraged your souls going on this week. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord for the Nixon family being with us on tonight. And my, 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 what a blessing, what a word, what a presence that was brought with them. So we honor the Lord for the Nixon family being with us last night, sharing the word of God. You know what? This is the place. This is the place right here for you, for you to have access and I wonder if you have been praying. I wonder if you have been standing on that word from last night to, to align your heart. I don't know about you, but God has been mighty, mighty good to me this week. I have heard some dynamic testimonies of how God has touched the lives of his people. Go ahead and share if you haven't already. Come in the room with the praise. Thank you very much, Brother Fred. Sister Annette for and um, Pastor Nixon for coming in the room with a praise, with a salutation, uplifting the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hello on YouTube. Hello if you're joining, if you're a friend of ours from Instagram. God bless you. We thank you so very much for watching this video. Thank you so very much for those that have already made comments to us on the prior days. You saw it on YouTube. Thank you so very much. If you comment to us, we'll comment right back to you. So thank you so very much. Glory to God. Let us continue to set a place of worship and set a place of praise. I feel radical. I feel high in my spirit on tonight. I have a prophetic edge on me on tonight. I don't know how we're going to get through this. 
I, I can I can almost understand why there was such a struggle to get in and to get through. I can almost understand why there was. Hallelujah. Because one of you, some of you, is on the brink of a breakthrough tonight. Hallelujah. And nothing will be able to stop you because God is in your midst. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful Savior. Great I am. Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That's right. Good evening, Dr. Nixon. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much, woman of God. Hallelujah. Share, 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 share. Father, we thank you, oh God, for the love that you have for your people. Father, we thank you for the love that you have for your people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, that this is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. And Father, we'll uplifted hands and uplifted voices. Do we serenade? Do we praise? Do we shabbat? Do we bless your holy name? And Father, we give your name the glory. We esteem you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for being a God who sees, for being a God who is listening, for being a God who is loving. I thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus for your presence, for your presence in the United States and the pres your presence, Lord God, in the nation abroad. We give you the glory for covering every viewer. God, that is under the sound of my voice. Father, thank you right now in the name of Jesus that your anointing is touching every screen, every living room, every kitchen, every bathroom, wherever this video is being played, wherever this uh, meeting is being streamed. Lord, thank you right now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, for touching your people. We thank you for the fire of the Holy Ghost, oh God, resting on the bodies of your people, resting on the minds of your people and the hearts of your people. Father, thank you right now for deliverance. Father, your word says in Luke chapter five that your presence is here to heal. And so, Father, we thank you right now for being a deliverer, for touching your bodies, that not their bodies, that nothing is too hard for you. We give you glory, Lord God, for what you've already done this week. We give you praise for what you've already done this week. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for causing us to come to the end of ourselves. If you pray in the Spirit, go ahead and pray. Hallelujah. You go ahead and pray. Hallelujah. Pray in the Holy Ghost if you pray. Hallelujah. That this prayer is ushering you into a new dimension. That this prayer is ushering you to the end of what you know. That this prayer is ushering you into prophetic dimensions that will cause you to walk in your new, that will cause you to walk in your next, that will cause revelation to be uh, 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 settling into your thoughts, into your spirit. In the name of the Lord. Thank you that the mysteries that we are praying God are unlocking the plans of God. Thank you right now that the unknown prayers, Lord God, these mysteries that we are praying. Father, we thank you that we ascend into the Most High. Father, thank you right now for opening realms that we haven't seen. Father, thank you right now for opening doors we've never walked through. Father, thank you that through this prayer, Lord God, somebody that a breakthrough they've never had, confidence they've never had, faith they've never had in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you right now that families are walking over into a new season. And I declare the word of the Lord over you in the name of Jesus that this is the year for the family, that God is reconciling families, that he's reconciling families, that he's causing families to emerge and to erupt into newer and greater and deeper and richer things you might as well go ahead send this to your niece send this to your uncle send this to your brother send this to one of your cousins hallelujah in the name of jesus i wonder if i have some family members that will stand up for the rest of your family that will stand up for the rest of your blood and say this is the year of my family 
Hallelujah. But you said the top of this is only a few more months in the year. That's all right. God, hallelujah, is a right now God. And we declare that it is so in the name of Jesus, that God aggressively is getting a hold of my brother, that God is aggressively calling on my entire family. Go ahead and put your family's last name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody put your family's last name. Put your family's name. Hallelujah. Come on. In the name of Jesus, for the Nixon family, for the Reed family, for the Patrick family, put your family's name up there in Jesus' holy name. I thank you tonight that it is so. Hallelujah. All around this world, all around this nation. Father, I thank you. I glorify you. I bless you. And it is so. Hallelujah. That's right. The Miles family. To God be the glory for what he's doing in the Miles family. Touch the Miles family, Lord. Every person, Lord God, that is under duress, every person in the Miles family, Lord God, that is under attack, touch their bodies. Father, open up doors. Pour them out a blessing that they don't have room enough to receive. Rewrite their future in the name of the Lord. Thank you right now in the name of Jesus from the oldest to the youngest, God. God, for your favor being upon them as only you can in Jesus' holy name. And I declare over the Mouse family that whatever you lost and whoever you have lost, hallelujah, in these last two years, whoever you have lost, I thank you right now in Jesus' holy name that the presence of the Lord, hallelujah, reigns over you victoriously, causing you to march forward into a refreshing, in Jesus' name, into restoration, into life in Jesus' holy name. And we declare it to be so. And we declare it to be so. We praise and thank the Lord for the Wiley family in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you right now that you're rewriting the history over the Wiley family. Thank you for doing a new thing, Lord God, in the Wiley family, in the bloodline. We break generational curses. Father, just because we're in a good place, we're in the right place, we're in this place, Lord, with access, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, to put our petitions and make the declarations of the Lord in Jesus' name that we declare sickness be broken off of the Wiley family. We thank you right now, Lord God, that generational illness and poverty and scrutiny and curses are being uprooted now. We thank you right now that they are being casted, they are being Send there. We are sending that to out of darkness in Jesus' name. We thank you that the torment of the Lord, you better pray in here tonight. We thank you that the torment of the Lord is upon those, oh God, that are caused a discomfort, Lord God, to come to the, the Wiley family. We thank you right now that every territorial spirit that have come, Lord God, to invoke sickness and poverty, Lord God, which is against your will, Father, against the Wiley family, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, let them be rerouted into confusion. Let them be rerouted into terror in Jesus' name. Come on. I need you praying with me on here tonight in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you know Tanya Daniels, um, ask her to get on here. Somebody inbox her. If you know Tanya Daniels, ask her to come on the line. Praise the name of Jesus. Let every one of our enemies be defeated in the name of the Lord. Let every one of our enemies be defeated in the name of Jesus. I read for you, Joel. Chapter number two, this is our founding text uh, in the book of Joel, chapters one and two. I read for you in the name of the Lord, Joel, chapter number two, verse um, 18 says, and then the Lord will pity his people. You have fasted. I've come to announce you have fasted. I've come to you announce that this is the reply of the Lord. This is the restoration of the Lord. You have cried before the Lord. You have made a sacrifice before the Lord in the name of Jesus. I thank you right now that the word says this, then the Lord will pity his people and jealousy guard the honor of his land, of this land. The Lord will reply. I want you to put that up on the screen. The Lord will reply. Hallelujah. I am sending grain and new wine and olive oil enough to satisfy your needs. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I need you to claim that through this fast, the Lord is sending enough 
to satisfy my needs and that you will no longer be an object of mockery among the surrounding nations. And I will drive out the armies uh, uh, from the north and I will send them into parched wastelands. Declare it tonight that my enemies are being driven into <laughs> parched wastelands in Jesus' name. Father, thank you right now for the whole of your anointing and the greatness of your anointing in this moment, in the name of the Lord, that your word says that you will drive them into a dead sea and those that the rear, that are at the rear into the Mediterranean, let the stench, hallelujah, let the stench, hallelujah, uh, of our rotting enemies, Lord God, fill the land. And thank you right now that surely the Lord has done great things. Don't be afraid, my people. This is what the Lord says. Don't be afraid, my people. Be glad now and rejoice for the Lord has done great things. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, that the Lord Thank you, Jesus, that the Lord has done great things. That's right, that the Lord has done great things, that the Lord has done great things, that the Lord has done great things, that the Lord has done great things in the name of Jesus, that the Lord has done great things. I thank you tonight. I praise you tonight. I glorify you tonight in Jesus' holy name. Hallelujah. Um, as, as we go further into worship, I'm going to ask that the Thomas family will lead us into um, whatever song or however they said led, led to minister to us. Minister to us. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, as the Lord leads you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. The healer is here. Jesus. The healer is here. Thank you, God. Oh God, I thank you. The healer is here. He's here. You need healing in your mind. The healer is here. He's here. If you need healing in your body, the healer is here. He is here. If you need healing in your finances, the healer is here. Like you, Lord, and we. Yeah. 
nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Because there's no one greater. Nobody greater. Nobody greater than you. Hallelujah. He's here. Reaching out to touch the hem of your garment. Hallelujah. He is here. We get your attention with our praise. The healer is here. Hallelujah. He is here. Reach out and touch the Lord. The healer is here. Yes. Yes, God. He is here. For whatever you need, the healer is here. Yes. Hallelujah. He is here. Oh, Lord, for you are. 
to you, God. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. For every hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. for a moment so that you can hear from my beloved daughter, but I sense that we are about to take a prophetic shift. Kimberly Brown, Kimberly Brown, Kimberly Brown, hear me. Kimberly, I saw you just a moment ago. If you are still on here, I want you to answer yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Answer, answer yes. Kimberly, praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Well, a great opportunity is before you, and I prophesy to you tonight in the name of Jesus that you, you can keep praying, uh, playing, uh, Minister J, you can keep playing. And I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus that you will not miss this opportunity. There's some things that you've been praying about, and the Lord is releasing greater to you in this season. I don't know if you might have any anointing oil, but anoint your hands with oil. Anoint your arms with oil in the name of the Lord because he is strengthening you and he's strengthening the works of your hand. And I speak over you in the name of Jesus that whatever the enemy meant for your evil with God is turning around and he's making it work together for you. Well, there's been some people speaking death and speaking jealousy and speaking curses against you. But the word of the Lord comes to you tonight to let you know. Be lifted up, Lord. Be encouraged. The hand of the Lord is on you. And he will produce and he will accomplish great things through you, says the name of God, says the, the name of the Lord. And it is so in Jesus' holy name. God bless you. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Hallelujah. You want to invite. Um, you want to invite a family member. You want to invite a friend. Hallelujah. Because we sense um, the presence of the Lord on here in a strong and a rich way. And for those of you who don't know that I have um, one biological child, and her name is Genesis. I have two children. I have a goddaughter by the name of Courtney, and then I have Genesis, hallelujah, um, who has been the, the beginning and the end. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. <laughs> Thank God. She's on here with us tonight, and she's joining us from her dorm room in Valdosta, uh, Valdosta State University in Valdosta, Georgia. Um, and I am going to ask her to share with her, share with us uh, what is on her heart and what is in her spirit um, and, and the things that she's experienced on the fast um, this week. Hi. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Okay. Um, <laughs> Lord. Lord, <laughs> um, this week so far has been awesome. It's been awesome. Um, it's a lot of, a uh, lot of growth and learning different things, learning, learning different things and, um, experiencing different things. Hi. Um, uh, but mainly my main focus has been to uh, 
my main focus has been to grow individually. Um, I've been so used to being up under the wings of the wonderful mama that I have. <laughs> um, so it's been it's been different being by myself and um, learning how to adjust. Um, to being in a, a young adult and learning how to be on my own for real, for real. So God has been awesome. God has been awesome. Um, main thing I have on my heart is it's okay. It's okay to walk the journey alone. It's okay to walk the journey alone. I feel like that's where that's where God does most of his work. Well, that's a word. I feel like that's where God does most, most of his work, building you up. And so that you can be a blessing, not only to others, but you understand and love yourself so that you can love others. Mm. So that's been, that's been the main thing for me is just learning how to love all of me. Mm. Um, Songs, Song of Solomon 4 and 7, it says that you all together are beautiful and that you have no flaws. So I've been trying to, I've been trying to receive that and work that into action. And Man. progress, progress, that's all I have to say. That's all I have to say is big progress we can't hear you Genesis I'm not saying anything oh okay <laughs> I want you to give the scripture that you gave again it was song of Solomon 4 and 7 I think it's the NIV version okay so it was the Song of Solomon 4 and 7 that says what? It says that you are all together beautiful. That you are my darling. Together. My darling, you are if all we are together being, beautiful. I if, we are, if we are being verbatim, it says, my darling, you are all together beautiful and that you have no flaws. You are all together beautiful and that you have no flaws. Hallelujah. What a love that God has for us. Amen. Praise the Lord. I love that. Were there any challenges um, that you had this week? That you had to um, overcome? That you had to overcome? Um, Being consistent with um, being consistent with every emotion that I have mm. and learning how to persevere and still get priority things done through all of that and knowing that um, through fear, through anxiety, through um, feeling that I'm not good enough, that it's still a lot that I can accomplish when I feel weak. Mm. So I feel like that's that's that was the hardest part. And knowing that God has has got me through all of that. Wow. Wow, that's good. I I, I know that First Peter. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I think five and seven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. First five, five and seven, seven says. It says. Um. It says that even through anxiety, that God still cares. You remember what what translation that is? Um, so 1 
first Peter five and seven says, pour out all your worries and stress upon him and leave mm -hmm. them there for he always tenderly cares for you. That's the passion translation. Praise the Lord. Amen. Why did you, why do you think that you remembered that verse of scripture out of all the, the things that you read this week? Why do you think you remembered that? I'm sorry, can you ask that again? Why do you think you remembered First Peter 5 and 7? Out of all the things you, you read this week, why do you think you remembered that? Um, um, cause, because I feel like not just for the youth, but I feel like for everybody when when you feel down and you feel emotionally and spiritually weak, you feel like no one understands or cares. Right. And me not knowing, me not knowing anyone here or me not, um, me feeling alone here, it, it makes it even harder. So it, I feel like no one no one can understand, no one can relate, no one cares. So when you when you feel when you feel that and when you feel discouraged, it's it's nice to know and it's it's uplifting to know that when people when you feel like no one has your back, that God cares and God is there for you. So I think I think that's why that stuck with me is because even when even when a human being isn't there for you, God got you. Mama. Amen. So for those uh, who are watching the, the live on tonight that feel like um, nobody, uh, like they are alone and that they're spiritually weak and that they uh, uh, are in that hard place, um, can you take just a moment to pray for the people who are in that place that you've been, maybe they're away from home, um, they're in a lonely season, maybe they're in the wilderness, of isolation, the Lord has um, and encamped around them and has called them to himself and not allowing other people to be in their environment um, and any of the other things that um, you said that the scripture um, has blessed you and even Psalms uh, of Solomon 4 and 7, the things that you spoke about relating to um, loving all of yourself um, can you take a moment to pray for those other other people? Um, pray for us who uh, might be going through and experiencing the same things. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for this time of being together tonight, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, Father, for I thank you, Lord. For everyone who is watching, everyone who is listening, Jesus, and Lord, I call out and I just want to say that we, our souls are crying out to you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you and I give you praise, Lord, that you heal, Lord, not even, not just our physical bodies, but you hear, you heal our minds and that you heal our souls. Lord, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus, Lord, that you know how we feel before we even know how we feel. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, Lord, for abundance and understanding of how, how to adjust to how we feel, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that you are leading us in a place of happiness. Yes. We thank you that you are leading us to a place of strength, Lord. Yes. We thank you, Lord, that you are leading us into a place of understanding. Yes. 
not just for us, Lord, but understanding more of you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we understand, Lord, how to love. We thank you that we understand to un understand how to love us and how to love others. And we thank you, Lord, that you love us no matter what. Yes. We thank you, Lord, that you love us even when we sin, even when we are not doing what we are supposed to do, Lord. Even when we make our mistakes, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are still here for us and that you love us. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you would strengthen our minds, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you'll heal our anxiety, that you'll heal our fear. Lord, we thank you, Jesus, that we'll walk, Jesus, with the power that you blessed us with. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we put our trust in you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you that you're just here for us. We thank you, Lord, that you are here for us. And Lord, I thank you that we will feel and know that you are here for us, Lord. And when we are in a place of doubt. I thank you, Lord, that you will bless us with people who will also be here for us and strengthen us and encourage us. And Lord, we pray, Lord, that they believe in you and have faith in you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you so much because you are so awesome. You are so awesome. And I thank you, Lord, for the power, Lord, and the power, Lord, and strength that you put in us, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that not only would it build us up, the Lord, that we'll have strength and, and power, Lord, to build others up, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, and I love you so much, Lord, because you love me. And I thank you, Lord, that you'll never give up on me, Lord. And Lord, I thank you, Lord, for the people who are watching. I pray that you cover them. I pray, Lord, that they have a wonderful night, Lord. And I thank you, Jesus, Lord, that you'll cover their, their mind, their soul, their spirit, and their body. Lord, I love you so much, Lord. I love you so much. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We praise and thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so very much, Genesis, for praying for us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for joining us on tonight. Amen victory and in celebration of what God is doing on the sixth day of fasting. She's 19 years old. She's a freshman. And oh. Hallelujah. <laughs> out there. Hallelujah. That you have made this sacrifice to pray and to fast and to seek the face of the Lord for the greater things that he has for you and to surrender you to him. So we praise and adore the Lord for him. We're going to ask the Thomas family to sing something very strong and prophetic because I, like I said to you earlier, that we're about to go into a deeper place prophetically, that by the time that you log out of this broadcast, the Spirit of the Lord would have activated a vision. That the Spirit of the Lord would have released faith uh, for you to walk in the things that he's already spoken over your life that by the time that you log out of this broadcast and 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 meet us in um, day number seven, um, that you will be in another place. Hallelujah, in another place. That we're shifting out of this place. This, this is the day before the completion. Day six is the day before completion. Hallelujah, I want you to get on your mind, hallelujah, that after this, praise the name of Jesus. That after this, as the Lord responds to your prayers, as the Lord responds to your atmosphere of adoration, worship, and sacrifice, that this is the day six, this is the day before jubilation, this is the day before completion, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Put up your praise, 
and your expectation of what you have already received, about to receive, and all that you have received this week. And, and, and Thomas family, if you would take us deeper um, into praise on tonight, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Get ready. Hallelujah. After this, after this, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That is this. changing. Thank you, Lord. There's no more decline. I'm on my way to better days. Status is changing. There's no more decline. I'm on my way to better days. Status is changing. There's no more decline. I'm on my way to better days. My status is changing. There's no more decline. I'm on my
at my status. Hallelujah. I believe, I got a testimony today um, that a powerful young woman wrote me today and said somewhere around uh, 4 o'clock in the morning, she woke up, 4, 4.30 in the morning, she woke up. She's been on this consecration with us. Listen, please pay attention. She's been on this consecration with us and she woke up early this morning, about four, 4.30 in the morning this morning. And there was a pain in her body that she used to have. There was a presence, fear, pain that she used to have, but she said that she had it for a long, long time. The first thing she noticed when she woke up at between 4 and 4.30 this morning, she noticed immediately that she was without this pain, that she was without this torment, that she was without this state of discomfort. Listen, when she went to sleep last night, hallelujah, somewhere between last night and early this morning, hallelujah, her status changed. Yes. Decree and declare in the name of Jesus that your status has already changed. And I thank you right now, Lord God, for a designated time. For those of you who have been on this fast, you've been on this consecration in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Make a claim that you're going to see a change, that you're going to see a change, that you're going to see a change, that my status has already changed. Hallelujah. In my emotions. In my mindset, hallelujah, my status has already changed. In my faith posture, my status has already changed. Hallelujah, breakthrough is happening for me. Thank you, Lord, because the Lord has taken notice. Thank you, Lord God, for releasing miracles in this atmosphere tonight. Father, thank you right now in the name of the Lord that statuses are changing. Glory to God, that you went from a place of bondage to a place of liberty and a place of freedom hallelujah you went from a state of confusion to a state of peace hallelujah you went from a place of darkness into light hallelujah thank you lord god you went from being broke hallelujah you went from being broke to you to be in favor to the wealth this place hallelujah wealth is not only money hallelujah but we thank the lord for some money hallelujah and wealth is not only money but you came to a place of prosperity a place of knowledge, a place of wisdom, a place of understanding in the name of the Lord. I thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. I called out for Tanya Daniels um, earlier. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the living God. I called out for Tanya Daniels earlier. Are you still on, Tanya? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You may not be able to spend money, but you can spend God's favor. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Kelly Scott. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You can spend God's favor. Praise the Lord. What do you do when there's no more limitation? What do you do when there's no more brokenness? What do you do? You pursue the things that the Lord has put in your, your spirit. You pursue the visions and the promises that the Lord has put in uh, uh, um, his in your spirits. And Father, we decree and declare in the name of Jesus that this, Lord God, hallelujah, it, it is our status changing moment. I'm glad to see you, um, Tanya. Um, on today that I, when I was praying, hallelujah, listen, 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 glory to God. Today when I was praying, today when I was praying, I was praying, and as I was praying for families, and I was praying for the abundance of families, what the Spirit of the Lord began to tell me, um, he began to tell me last night that um, and through the rest of this year over into 2021, that he is going to bless uh, family businesses. Those of you that uh, you're, you're having meetings right now around your family and to institute a business, Praise the name of the Lord. But I want to pray specifically for your family, Tanya Daniels. I want to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that there are some things, there, are some, there is some retribution that your family is about to receive. And specifically, I want to pray for your niece. I don't even know her by name. And you don't really discuss anything with me other than she's a good niece 
to you and that she's very smart. But listen to me, as I was praying, as I was uh, praying today, and, 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 and I heard the spirit of the Lord show me a business deal with a young man that she is to stay away from, my God. The spirit of the Lord says that she, was, she is going to make a rich investment and it is going to prosper her for the hand of the Lord is upon her to bring her into wealthy places and to give her great influence. Hear me. And the spirit of the Lord says that I'm sending warning and sharpening her discernment now that there's been a tugging and there'll be a wooing. There'll be a pulling because of what she looks like and her nature. But hear me, the spirit and the presence of the Lord is going to engulf her and he is going to give her the knowledge that she needs to come into this wealthy place. There will be a proposition that will come her way and God will give her the discernment where to steer clear. But listen, get ready. Your family is about to embark and is about to receive a retribution. Hallelujah. If you're around a family member, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. If you're at home, glory to God. I'm not talking to just to Tanya Daniels, but I'm talking to every one of you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, that this is your wealthy place for your family in the name of Jesus. And I thank you now. And Tanya, I even speak over your daughter, Justice, that there is a special anointing on her hands for prosperity and for wealth. There is a gift that God is uh, 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 cultivating on the inside of her that will bring her into wealth. And I speak over her that God will give her enlightenment concerning the things of math. She needs help in math. She needs help in math. Justice needs help in math. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And I thank you right now, Lord God, for increasing the understanding for justice in the area of math. And it is so. And I thank you right now for wealth and abundance being tied to this family. And I thank you right now, Lord God, uh, that we, 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 we bind, Father, every snake spirit and every spirit of deception that will try to come and cause a diversion and a deceit, and a deceit to this family. And it is so. In Jesus' holy name, amen, amen, amen. Glory to God, you might as well receive. You might as well receive. You might as well receive. Pam James, I've already said to you um, and to your husband uh, uh, um, that this year your family is going to walk over, that the Lord has put a word in Brother Rod's mouth and God will cause him to emerge even the more in the things of God in these next 12 months. Hallelujah. We thank you and we praise your name, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Go ahead and put your family name in the chat. Go ahead ahead and put your family name in the comments and father we thank you lord god that as we have prayed this week as we have fasted this week hallelujah we thank you right now in the name of jesus that your hand is upon our family hallelujah i pray for my own uh, biological brother father i thank you right now that this is his status is changing that his mind and his heart is changing i thank you right now for prosperity and wealth and home ownership and i thank you for elevation and escalation in his life and i even thank you lord god for the angels of god that are tormenting and breaking up relationships that will cause him to be distracted and cause him to be removed from your will and I thank you right now in the name of Jesus Lord God I pray for every young person I pray for every young person Lord in the name of Jesus Lord I put I thank you right now that the word of God is being activated in their mouth Lord God to minister to speak to pray hallelujah the word of the Lord and I thank you right now that every person have come to distract oh God young adults high school college age students middle students middle age students in the name of Jesus, I praise you tonight, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that every influence, every fragrance in their environment, God, hallelujah, in the name of the Lord, is being brought to nothing. Thank you right now that every need concerning uh, 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 any spirit, Lord God, every diabolical spirit and every diabolical assignment, Lord God, is bowing to the name of Jesus. We thank you right now. We thank you right now, Lord God, for living water coming into households, Lord God, where there's brokenness and where there's pain and when there's confusion in the name of Jesus. Thank you right now for the blood, the blood 
the blood, the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, the blood of Jesus over every family, over every couple. Father, thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Where there's been inconsistency, Lord God, in the name of the Lord, if you're a woman watching this live tonight and there's been inconsistencies in your thought process, in your mindset, I speak right now healing in your emotions. I drive out in the name of the Lord every voice of pain, every voice of hurt, every voice of torment out of your midst and I thank you right now that the hand of the Lord is upon you hallelujah for great peace for deliverance in Jesus name father thank you right now for those that have been tormented in their sleep Lord I thank you right now Lord God for healing for wholeness and peace even in their sleep and we praise you that it is so in the precious name of Jesus Glory to God. Glory to God. We lift up the Givens family. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for the Wiley family, the Chadwick Plant family, the Brant family, the Whitfields, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for the Miley family. I speak healing over the Miley family tonight in the name of Jesus. And I break every curse in the name of Jesus in the line of education over the Miley family. We thank you right now, Lord God, that you call them into influence and into education. And we thank you right now, wherever there might be a strong man binding, coming into interference concerning, Lord God, their education and those, Lord God, that will come, that will graduate. Father, we thank you right now in the name of the Lord. We derail the assignment of the enemy concerning the Miley family and their education. And it is so in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I pray for every girl child um, in the Miley family, every young girl, every young girl, every granddaughter, um, every niece, every daughter in the Miley family, in the name of the Lord. I thank you right now, hallelujah, for a grace and a peace and a protection over the Miley family where the enemy has tried to come and cause distraction and cause disconnection and cause rebellion and cause frustration in the girl children. In the name of the Lord, I thank you right now that that is being broken. And I thank you right now, Lord God, that you are binding them together, richer and deeper and closer in the name of the Lord. I thank you right now that every Miley child, every Miley daughter, every Miley cousin, every Miley granddaughter in the name of the Lord, hallelujah, will have that covenant with you, oh God, in the secret place of the Most High, in Jesus' holy name, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let praises ring forward. Let praises ring forward. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. In the name of Jesus. We thank you tonight. We praise you tonight. We got a late start on tonight. God is here now. God is moving. He's working. He is ministering to you, the Lord's people. And we glorify you. And we praise you in Jesus' holy name. Ain't the Lord all right? He's good. His blessings endure to all generations. Listen, I want to invite you for the last day tomorrow day seven of our fasting day seven of our fasting i still feel the healing presence of the lord hallelujah i still feel the healing presence of god hallelujah i still feel the healing presence of the lord glory to god i thank you right now that you are touching arms and backs i thank you right now that you are touching legs and joints and feet i thank you lord that you were touching lord god sinus issues and pressures around the eyes Father, we thank you right now that we're rebuking headaches tonight in the name of the Lord. We praise you and we lift your name high, oh God, for resting on your people with great healing and great deliverance in Jesus' holy name. Hallelujah. We, we have to go, but we want to invite you back tomorrow. We want to invite you back tomorrow, hallelujah, for day number seven day number seven listen remember that we are in our reply this is the respond of the lord the respond of the lord he said i'm sending you grain and new wine i'm sending you olive oil enough to satisfy your needs that you were thirsty for the lord and now you've grown closer to god if 
he hears you. Keep speaking. Keep talking. Keep praying. Keep worshiping. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. To this seven day of completion. Praise the name of the Lord. As we seek the Lord to pull that he will give us an overflow. In Jesus' holy name is our prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you for being with us tonight. Until we meet again on tomorrow, share this video. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you for the seven watch this video. Good night, everybody. We love you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your great name. Thank you, God. Thank you. I love y'all. We love you too.